wildlife sightings are taking over social media and communities around Port St. Lucie. People are reporting large groups of wild boars and a few other animals they don't see as often. Our Rachel Perry caught up with the man in charge of trapping them to learn why those sightings seem to be on the rise. While the saying typically goes, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, here in Port St. Lucie, it's a bit different. You have the coyotes, you have the hogs, you have the bobcats, you have pretty much everything in this area right now. Communities like Tradition, Central Park, and surrounding areas are seeing more of these creatures out and about. This trap right here. Jay Garish, or who many know as Trapper Jay, tells me there's a few reasons for that, and new development isn't the only one. It's breeding season right now. You know, it's all these animals are mating. So animals like a coyote that would typically travel only only, uh, uh, you know, one or two miles a night, they're actually traveling four or five miles a night, and even during the day to try to find a mate. While the bobcats are mostly harmless, he says the hogs, an invasive species, do some damage. They cause thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage just in St. Lucie County alone. The largest one I've caught out here was 336 pounds. Yeah, he was hard to get in the back of the truck. With the boars, Jay says during mating season, it's a good idea to keep your distance. They are absolutely can be uh, uh, violent, you know, if, if approached, you know, typically they're just going to run away. Um, but again, during breeding season, you want to keep your distance. Jay says since the hogs are invasive, typically once caught, they have to be euthanized, but the bobcats he's able to relocate to farms or other wooded areas. In Port St. Lucie, Rachel Perry, WPBF 25 News.